SPMO Six Sigma defects yields calculation and this is gonna be very very easy because we are gonna do it in Excel formula and this is part two uh, the same Excel version now it has been upgraded invoking or enabling the formula and the formula can also be uh, copied can also be used that's the only difference between the last version and this version last version where you might have seen it this one where you can feed the value and get the answers exactly the same thing so in this version uh, version number five has been invoked with a formula for example if you wanted to see any formula you will be able to see the formula and uh, what logic to it and all that you will be able to see that's the only difference and uh, and one more thing is actually this whole excel uh, calculator or template is free uh, to send it in your email if needed uh, just you need to comment on this uh, video let's get into this uh, video what i have done is there are two section one is the input section and output section in input sections we have three attributes number one defects number two opportunities number three number of units or volume or whatever you call it right so these three things we have and now we're going to discuss uh, three scenario number one uh, the invoice processing has 55 defects in 5555 invoice produced in 2021 the opportunities are number one date format is incorrect batch number details missing error in customer info gst or vat uh, not mentioned correctly payment detail not in line with the final language so this is uh, in this uh, scenario the defects are 55 and the opportunities are five because those are op opportunity which i read it out and the volume is 5555 so how to calculate uh, this dpmo very simple maybe one more time i can do it uh, for you so the formula you all know defects into 10 to the power of 6 10 to the power of 6 is nothing but 1 million right 6 digit you need to add so one easy way to do is one you can give e and you can give 6 so it will add that 1 million right 1 to the power of 6 and then divided by number of opportunities into number of volume or number of units right you can just give okay so this is the uh, dpmo how to cal from the dpmo how to calculate the process sigma in other words it also called zst z stand for performance and st stand for short term performance so how to calculate short term performance very simple all you need to do is one more time i will i will do this uh, exercise so you can give i'm going to give delete equal to n and this is the form of the last one you can just pick it up the function is available for compatible with version 2007 and earlier written the, uh, the inverse of the standard normal cumulative distribution as i mean zero standard division r1 okay this is the formula we need to use norm s i n v so give tab just select this one and give tab this has been done now what we need to do is one minus and uh, we need to give like defect right and then divided by so what you have you have number of opportunities into uh, number of units so the same thing which we typically did it in the dpmo and and close it right so so and 2.88 so what we need to do is uh, short term we need to add 1.5 shift actually as a shift it can have 1.5 so right each shift in six sigma each shift is 1.5 right 1.53 then 4.5 and 6 right so i'm gonna add it so this is the 4.3 4.38 when you say a long term right what you will do is you will just minus the 1.5 like either you can when you know the long term performance let's say 2.88 you can add 1.5 to make it short term or when you know the short term you can make it long term also as well let's quickly check this value 1980 let's say 1980 let's quickly so 2.88 is uh, long term short term is 24.38 exactly the same value we have got it right exactly the same thing even if you can conventional table you can also verify your answer 
let's go and see that 1980 right 1980 somewhere here right so it comes between that four point you can see here 4.418 uh, uh, we have got 1860 right so the, it's supposed to be so four point uh, around 4.3 and 4.4 right so exactly the same uh, we have got it here also as well precisely we have got this uh, answer as such okay and then let's say yield you wanted to find out very simple from the dpmo we can cross multiply that one so dpmo formula you all know uh, so in in insect when you say defect we are talking about error divided by volume right since we have already found out all these dpmo we just need to divide 1 million how to do it simple for example so this is the dpmo value divided by 1 to the power of 6 yeah and then what is the yield yield is 1 minus that value is the yield 99.8019 even when you put like 99.80198, you will get this percentage. The cross multiply also you can do. For example, I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just going here. Uh, yield 99.80. Maybe I will just quickly pick it. And then 8018. Four point three eight, right? We even that way also we can find out. So, however, uh, to find out the defect percentage, this is the formula, and yield, this is the uh, one one minus that defect percentage, you will get the yield. Let's discuss scenario number two. Your foundry unit, the metal unit, so foundry unit producing seventeen, uh, seven one uh, seventeen thousand six not five units, and casting nine fifty. Uh, 952 defects found and defects opportunities are 10 for example shift mismatch blow holes pin holes shrinkage cavity hot ears cracks inclusions warpage hot spot misrun cold shed and all these are opportunities so we are talking about 952 are the defect and how many opportunities we have 10 opportunities and number of units we have uh, 17 6 not 5 right and then we can automatically will get calculated uh, so you can see here the same thing formula is uh, you know you can just i'm just copy pasting this formula so that the same formula will be applied everywhere okay so what i'm doing is uh, so this is the one uh, so c3 that is c3 is uh, the defect divided by uh, c4 and, and opportunities into this is perfect and uh, so uh, when you say process sigma or uh, zst we need to add 1.5 that is perfect and zlt is perfect and then we got that defect will have 0.5 percentage defect will have that means the yield will have 99.5 so right so let's also check like 5408 5408 4.05 is the uh, short term one right so exactly we got the same value let's do third scenario together so it says 333 laps are produced in april and 30 uh, defects were found and seven are opportunities so what i'm gonna do is so 333 so defects are 30 so you can see the defects are 30 and uh, opportunities are 7. You can see here there are 7 opportunity power cable, power channel, display blur, blur and a scratch on any of the side of the laptop, power writing, packaging issue, IC not tested, keyboard and all these are 7 opportunities. Yeah. And uh, what is the volume? It has been given 333. So you can what I'm doing is I'm just invoking this formula. So I, I have already got it. So that means the DPMO defect per million opportunity is 112,870. Right? So 12,870. Let me just feed this value. 12,870. Yeah, so now you can see 3.73 is the one, right? 3.73 is the short term and uh, that is also called process sigma 
and uh, ZLT the long term will be 2.23 and 1.2 the defect is more the highest defect we have uh, the defect is actually 1.28 and uh, the yield is 1 minus of that value so it also say the typical process has been proven to have a shift and average uh, of 1.5 you all know over the long term performance i hope you find this uh, video helpful and uh, what you need to do is you just need to add this up and automatically you will get all the value even in this case even if you wanted to have this format uh, you can have so but only difference is here you will not be able to see the formula as such right so for example same case i will feed it here so th the defects are 30 and samples are let me check 3300 let no 3, 333 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and exactly yeah, dpmo1287 the same value we have got so whatever the formula the only thing is here you will find the formula and you will find it interesting that's what uh, the second version uh, is being made so i hope you like this video please do comment to get this uh, excel and uh, please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day